all right back back on the road uh, another long weekend awesome awesome anzac day long weekend so um i've got six days off god i love audios so i got six days off it's friday at the moment be back in sydney on wednesday so heading back down to the snowies to the jindabyne threadbow region uh jindabyne threadbow area this time weather forecast is like surprisingly amazing um i can't believe it normally there's usually one shit day forecast but every day is just awesome so head down there for a bit of late season fishing before the um before the season officially closes get some good hiking in get some fishing get some camping just enjoy myself you know before before winter rolls around before the snowboarding season comes in i thought i'll just squeeze in as much fishing as i can um a bit of a late start today because i went to the camping show in sydney so this is a bit later than i would have normally liked to leave but it is what it is had to stop off get second coffee of the day so i expect i'll have to stop soon and drop the kids off but you know it's all part of the fun see ya This will be home for the next six days. morning everyone it is uh, another glorious day up in the mountains today perfectly sunny day um, so it is Anzac day today um, so I'm gonna head out for a fish for a bit and then today is also the best day in the NRL calendar because it's the day I get to watch 
my roosters hopefully pummel the dragons so have a few hours of a fish then come back to camp get ready watch the game and then once that game is done because my camp is like right on the lake I'll probably just have a few hours to fish on the lake as well I was meant to go to the dawn service this morning I forgot to set an alarm and overslept as usual so so hopefully we get some trout on you know some nice big trout on the end of the line today I've moved about probably about a half a kilometer downstream of where I wanted to start I pulled up there was another van there another car there and as soon as I got out this old grumpy man was like oh you're not gonna you're not gonna start from here are you so I thought I'll just not deal with that shit so I'll just and that makes no difference really like I'm gonna be heading up upstream anyway same as him so it made no difference whether I started there or started down here so but I just won't deal with that I'll just come down here start from here work my way up actually I'll I'll hike maybe half a kilometer downstream and then I'll work my way up there I'll probably try and cover you know two three k's see you know depending on where the good spots are and, and whatnot so yeah so um just another little point about that that old man thing you know it wasn't so much like a fishing etiquette thing like I know I would never if I see someone already fishing I'll I'll just move further along you know a few hundred meters up but this was just a parking spot park there head down the fire trail and and fish away but it wouldn't make no difference if I got there literally a minute after we started walking down there wouldn't have been an issue but I didn't want to get into a whole argument with this guy I come out here to have fun and take my mind off things so I wasn't interested in that so so we'll see where this section here we'll see where that leads us Just like that, first catch of the day. Beautiful brain, brain bro. Oh, they, they burrow right under that rock. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. You would never know it's there unless you like... That's awesome.
Oh, there's a there was a big rise there. Come on, they're, they're out, they're out. Oh. Oh, beauty. Oh, man. That is an incredible one. Out of the pool. That was such a subtle take. So subtle, but oh. Beautiful brown. Like that that take was so was so subtle. I don't I don't understand how some people fish nymphs without an indicator because like you couldn't even really feel him on you couldn't feel him on the line at all. It wasn't until there was like a slight movement in the indicator and then that was how I knew so yeah. There's one rising. Oh, yep, we've got him, we got him, he's on. That's another, that's a rainbow. Ah, oh, beautiful. So, oh, look at the colors on that. That's got some wicked colors. Look at the colors. Beautiful rainbow. Second of the day in quick succession. Yeah. Oh my god, he's gone for that's the second time. Second time right there. He's gone for it twice in a row now. It's dug, dug, and I think I've just I think I've literally pulled it out of his mouth too early before it ha had a chance to to set. God, I'm a, I'm my my own worst enemy there. Jesus. We're on. Oh my god, he's a... God, how am I going to land this guy? I've got to get in the water. Yeah! Check him out. Beautiful rainbow. I'm loving this river. Oh, what a river. So I'm uh, just stopping off for uh, for some lunch before I head back out. So it's been a good day up till now. So um, it's only like uh, it's just past one o'clock now. So um, hopefully it's pretty good. See how the rest of the days goes. Hey mate, you want to hear a joke? Nah, yeah, no? Oh, I'll tell it to you anyway. Two cows are... Oh, they're, they're, now you're paying attention. Two cows were just in a paddock one day eating grass. One said, moo. The other one looked at him and said, 
That's funny, I was just about to say that. Oh, it's usually, usually get a good response when I say it to humans, but no sense of humor these days. God. Hello horsies. Hopefully you don't shit in the river like the last few cows. Oh no, broke it off. Oh, God damn. It was a nice looking rainbow as well. Just come out a uh, little alpine little creek here. Anyone that's a local can just take a look at this and know where I am. Um, last time I came here it was a great, great little spot to fish. Very little, small trout. Um, I'll fish here for two, three hours. I've only got about two, three hours of sunlight left anyway. Um, so I've actually got a new rod. It was just a little three weight. It's a 7.6 foot three weight that I wanted for these little streams. Um, Cause it won't be my main rod. It was just a rod that I'll only use a few times here and there. I didn't want to go pay too much for them. So I went with this company, Max Catch. They're out of China. I read reviews. I heard some decent stuff about them. So I thought, what the hell? I'll just buy it. And it's only, you know, it's not much money. If it's not that great, it's not that great, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and I got another reel from him. It was only 30 bucks, so I figured, ah, oh, what the hell. That's their own fly line as well, so the line was like 25, 30 bucks as well. So, you know, I don't have high hopes for it, but we'll see how it goes, you know. I'll be very surprised if it, if, if it turns out to be good, because anyone that's into fly fishing knows that some of the gear is just ridiculously expensive. Even the, even the cheapest stuff is just, unnecessarily overpriced like I mean my five weight I did spend a bit for it because that's my main rod but um, for the three weight I didn't want to spend too much and you know I like supporting local shops lo local fly fishing shops but when the prices are that that much so I thought I'll give these give this one a go and see how it goes so um, I've got the nymphs on again but I have seen quite a few hoppers around. I'll get near the, the creek and see if there's quite a bit of hoppers around, then I'll bloody I'll bloody change over to some dries. Any excuse for me to throw a dry out, um, you know? So we'll see how that goes, eh? When I was here last time I did I, I remember I did get a couple out of this pool, so I'll spend a bit of time. Oh there's one rising! I've got an unweighed nymph because it's not shallow, but it's it's not deep, so I didn't want it constantly snagging the bottom. There's a nice little pool there. One just made a grab at it. I yanked it out too quickly from him. Ah, oh, there's another one rise. Oh no, that I oh, see that that's a hopper, so that the hoppers are around. See if I can tempt him with this one again. I haven't seen any rise yet, so No! Oh my god! Again! Damn it! It's the same one. He's tucked up there. Bloody hell. He's not going to go for a third time. I mean, I don't think trout are that stupid.
Yes. Good, are you? Are you at work? No, I'm. I'm f no, I'm fishing. Oh, shit. Oh, you're away. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just quickly, what is PayPal? Oh. PayPal. I have to set up a PayPal account. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright, no worries. Bye. Bye. I just ruined it again. Oh my god. I saw him go for it and then I just set it too too quickly. Didn't give him a chance. Do not do not buy these absolute piece of shit telescopic stools. I bought this at the camp show, you know, two days before this trip. It's had a handful of uses and it's already broken. Look at this. What a piece of shit. Yeah, don't buy them. They're absolute crap. But, luckily, I got my stool. Or my ladder. So, um, the thread bow has been a massive disappointment this trip. I've only had one catch on the thread bow, so that kind of sucks. Um, so I'm just waiting for the footy to start. Roosters, I'm just waiting for the roosters footy to start to see the roosters smash the dragons. <laughs> um, but for now, I'm just, um, I've got time to kill, so I'm just sorting out, you know, a few, a few flies, got some new streamers and uh, streamers and stuff like that. It'll just be, you know, fishing streamers tonight. Um, maybe the nymphs, but I think the safe option is just streamers. Um, so, yeah, let's go roosters. As you can tell by the shit-eating grin on my face, roosters did win. It was a great game. Not because we won, but it was just generally a really, really great game. So, very happy with that. The one thing that could make me happier tonight is if I catch... Just one trout. Just give me a trout. I'll be happy. Multiple would be good, but just one, I'll be happy. So, the advice from the locals at um, High Country Outfitters, um, the advice was the, the big, you know, they at night time, they come towards the edges to feed. So, his advice was just work the edges and keep moving. So, that's exactly what I'll do. Um, yeah, I'll... Um, I'd like to say I'll fish until I catch a fish, but I don't want to say that because I probably, knowing my luck, I'll probably be here till, you know, till sunrise. So I'm really hoping I catch something. Um, yeah, see how it goes, eh? If I don't check back, well, it's because I caught nothing. Mm -hmm.